What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell by my soul tribe, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. I got a spirit message in, so I decided to do another collective reading. Um, just to let you guys know, um, all the mid July readings are up. Actually, all of July's are up. Beginning of July, obviously, because we're at the 9th, and then mid July to the end of July, they're all up. All of them, all of them, all of them are up. So just um, let you guys know. Um, and there's lots of collective readings on there as well. I will probably do some bonus readings and I'll start probably doing weekly readings coming soon. Just a little update on the channel and new live sessions coming every Monday and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll do half the Zodiac on Monday, the other half on Wednesday. So just letting y'all know. Um, the message is um, someone has really seen someone's growth and progression and they're um, very um, happy and proud of them. So it's a very, very positive message. Um, thank God, because some of them are horrible. We all know that. We all freaking know that. Um, but that's current energy in the collective right now. So that's beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Someone's really seeing someone's growth and progression, and they're very happy and proud of them. So congrats to whoever that's for. That's fucking beautimous. Just saying. Um, somebody has really done a lot of inner work on themselves. Um, growing and manifesting themselves, I think, internally and externally. So financial realm and um, inner work realm. And somebody is very um, proud of you. They're very proud of you and um, and happy for you. So that's beautiful. I'm, a, I'm assuming whoever this is for, you're doing it in a very legal realm, legal way. Legal way, I'm presuming. Um, I'm just saying. Spirit. Okay. Hold it. Um, so you take it how it resonates. I'm presuming um, in a very um, legal way, legal way. Just saying. Spirit messages you have look like this. Wow, they are. Oh, wait too many. Wait too many. Okay. Spirit messages you have look like this. So someone seeing someone's growth and progression and they're very happy and proud for them. So um, that's not jealous Jackie vibes, jealous Joe vibes. It's very, sounds like pure and true and genuine vibes. And um, those are the kind of people you want in your life for sure, for sure, for sure. So um, seriously, congrats to whoever that's for. That truly is beautiful energy. It really is because there's just not many people like that in the world. So many people are hater, hateration and jealous and I want what you got and I'm going to get it at all kind of damn cost kind of thing. I mean, it's really, um, it's sad. It's sad, but that is the world we live in. Spirit, what messages do you have for collective? But who, um, but there are really are good people in the world. There truly are. It's just finding them. It's just finding them is the key. Spirit messages you have for collective. Okay, I heard keep them. That's what we got. Um, we've got the masculine upright, resilience upright, beauty upright, darkness reversed. So number 42, 21, 20, or 40 might be very significant to someone. 42, 21, 20, or 40. Also 32, 34, 33. Forty-two, forty-four. 44. Okay, so 32. It's hard to remember all these. 32, 43, 44, 37, 37. Okay, yeah. And the letters J, B, D, K, M, J B K M A J B K M A L L and L and W 
and W. So J B K L M B L W. J K B L M B A W. Yeah, I think. No, um, you can go back and replay it for the full thing. Um, they could have those any of those letters in there. I'm assuming these are initials, but you plug it in your life outfits. Um, I, did I say D D two D D. Um, they could have that could be like a first initial, middle initial, last initial. You plug it in life outfits. The masculine. A masculine energy is very proud of a particular feminine energy. Very. This masculine energy is about to stand up for this feminine energy in many, 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 many ways. Really sees the real truth. Now. Okay. Well, that's beautiful. Fucking beautiful, actually. Part of uh, masculine energy is very, very proud of a femme energy, and they're basically about to stand up for this femme energy in uh, basically a ton of many ways. I'm not going to try to attempt to count how many that was. A ton of many ways. Um, they see the real truth now. So we have the masculine. So um, I think I'm pulling in a masculine. I think I'm pulling in a masculine that's very proud of a femme energy. So you go with your badass self, whoever this is for. Um, now, you could be the femme energy that um, this masculine is proud of, because you know energies can be reversed, or you could be the masculine that's proud of the femme energy. You take it out, resonates. But we have the masculine card, loud and proud, just saying. And also, too, I want to say on this card before we move on. Um, I never noticed it before, but I do now. Um, he looks very protective. He look, um, If you look at this card very good, he looks very protective. Like, there's two people in the background. I don't know if you can see them, but they're very, very shaded. But um, And I'll put it up close. Maybe you can see them. But there's two people in the background um, when I pull it up, okay? And it's like he's protecting these people in the background. Um, let me see if you can see it. See the two people back here by the... The star, northern star, there's two people. But it looks like he's protecting those people. And he's got like a very serious um, look on his face. So um, I think you're very protective of this feminine energy, masculine energy, um, whoever you are. I do. Um, and you're about to basically help her out in, I heard, a ton of many ways. Um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Because you see the real truth now. So you see the real truth now, and now you're going to be business, the serious look on his face. You're going to be business, and I think you're going to help protect her in some type of way. Now, you know, however that is, it could be, um, well, I heard you're going to help her out in many ways. So, but I think, I think it's a protective mode, like a, a protective um, mode energy, not controlling mode. I don't think it's controlling mode. Oh, God, I hope it's not. I hope it's not controlling mode. But I just think it's like, you know the real truth now, so you're going to protect this person because you know the real truth. Not controlling. God, I hope not controlling. Just saying. Not like Britney Spears' dad controlling. Please, God, nobody be like that. Please, God, no. Just saying. That man, he should be on some lithium. Just saying. Putting that woman on some lithium. It's really sad. It's really sad. Resilience. This masculine energy really sees how this feminine energy has bounced back full force. He's very impressed. This is beautiful. I heard this masculine energy has really seen how this uh, feminine energy has bounced back and he's very impressed. 
So we have the resilience card. So you masculine energy, you're really seeing how this fem energy has bounced back and you're very impressed. So you see the resilience of this fem energy um, and you're very um, impressed with it. And if you see on the card, this um, this woman is a fem energy. She's It's like she's carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders. That's how I take that as a reader. Um, she's basically, it's like carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders, but she's not giving up. She's not fucking giving up. She's going to, she's going to do, she's going to do it. She's resilient and she's doing it whether people want her to, want her to do it or not. Carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders. That's how I'm depicting that. But I heard you're really seeing it. You're really seeing how she's bouncing back and, um, stronger than ever so she's stronger than ever and um this lady has to be fucking strong like fucking wonder woman just saying to be carrying that shit on her back just saying beauty Someone truly sees the beauty in this. And it is beautiful. Soon, many, 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 many people will know this story. Many. Very, very, very public. Very. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, I heard so. Um, I heard um, soon many people will know this story. There's lots of beauty in this situation. Uh, there's a story about a um, masculine energy that's very, very, very proud of a femme energy. She has bounced back from some really, really, really horrible, tumultuous times in her life, I feel. Um, but she's back stronger than ever now. It sounds like she's done it on her own um, for whatever femme energy she just resonates with. If you are the femme energy, you've done it on your own, basically. Um, for the most part. Now, I'm not saying you didn't have help. Uh, everybody has gets help from people from um, in the world from time to time. But primarily, I think you've done it on your own. I think primarily you have, I should say. Not all the way. But primarily, you have done it on your own, basically. Um, and um, a masculine energy truly sees the beauty in that. And I heard basically, it sounds like he is about to spread it. I heard many, basically a ton of many people, and that it's going to go very, very, very public, very public. Um, and many, 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 many series of chain events will occur from this. Many. Positively for this masculine and feminine energy. Okay, and I heard basically, um, so he's going to spread it. He's going to spread it to everybody and their mama, basically. Um, it might go to media. It might go social media. It might go to influencers. It might go to people that have high reach uh, followers, basically, if they uh, do social media or news media. I mean, I don't know. You plug in your life outfit. But I heard it's basically about to go very, very, very public. Very. So I'm thinking all over the freaking world. Like, choo, 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 choo. Um, and I heard it's really going to benefit this masculine energy and this femme energy. This femme energy that's basically come out of the like a phoenix rising from the ashes and really has um she's stronger than ever now so she's really proved to this masculine energy and others and soon the world that she um uh, is a force to be reckoned with basically and he really sees the beauty in that and and really you should you should because um that's really saying something about a person it truly it truly 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 is if somebody can rise like a phoenix in that kind of aspect and really um, pick themselves up by their bootstraps and really, you know, um, no matter what tumultuous rough times they've been in, really um, come back and um, give it all they got regardless. That says something. It really does. Um, besides, you know, like getting a uh, hot, you know, drove down on like drugs or alcohol or feeling sorry for themselves and shooting up meth or drinking themselves into a freaking hole or, um you know running their life into the ground it's not like this this fem energy has done the opposite she's like a seed and has sprouted up and um bloomed or blooming 
you take it how it resonates. It's really beautiful. Darkness reversed. This feminine energy has turned a very dark situation into a very positive one. Someone really needs to hear this one, uh, this situation, this message. Sorry. Whoa, I got distracted. Um, so the fem energy has really um, turned, I heard, a very dark situation into a very positive situation. Somebody really needs to hear this, basically, this message. Um, so um, I had that going and I got distracted. Sorry, I got to focus back in. So, um, so yeah, so you take it out, resonate. So um, a fem energy has basically rose like a phoenix from the ashes. And she's turned basically a very, very, very dark situation, I heard, into a very positive light one. So she, it was a very horrible, dark situation she was in. Um, whatever that is and however it plugs into your life, you have to plug it in how it fits. Um, but she's turned a dark situation into a very positive light situation. So she's really turned it around she's turned it around 360 for herself and for others um if you know she has children or a business or other people she's dealing with um that's really beautiful i was looking at the card so she's turned the dark into light you see um we have eclipse energy over here on the darkness card um i think somebody was um of course it's reversed on here but um for this energy check but we have eclipse energy right here right well i think somebody was blocking i think somebody was blocking her many 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 people were somebody really needs to hear this turn it around 360. Okay, there you go. I heard basically a ton of many people were blocking her. So karmic energies were blocking her. Now, karmics, for people that don't know, karmics are basically people in your life in some aspect. Um, now, it could be toxic family members, toxic frenemies, toxic um, neighbors, toxic co-workers, whoever they are, but toxic to you. Now, why ever they don't want you to be successful in some type of way, I don't know. That's for, you know, that's on why, why were their own reasons, basically. But, but they were toxic to this femme energy. I heard basically a many, like a ton of people. It wasn't just a couple. It wasn't just a few. It was a ton. But I heard she basically turned the situation around 360. So I think she identified these people were toxic. So they were blocking her. They were karmic energies blocking her like the eclipse, um, like this um, moon blocks the sun. Um, they were blocking her, like the moon blocks the sun. But eventually, with any cycles of life, the moon eventually um, moves and releases the light. Um, just saying. And um, I think she knows that. I think this feminine energy knew that. And so I think she bided her time. And she was very strategic. Um, in planning her moves in a very healthy, positive, copacetic way, um, because she knows that cycles change. I think she's highly intuitive, and she knows cycles change, and she was waiting for her time, basically, um, if that makes sense for anybody. So she was waiting on the blockages to surpass, basically, if that makes sense. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A shocking series of turn of events is going to occur with the situation very soon. Many, 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 many of them. Positively. Okay. Wow. Heard a shocking series of turn of, event, of turn of events is about to occur with this situation soon and many of them. So many shocking positive series of turn of events are about to occur with this situation. Um, 
and it's heavily it's a heavily involving a masculine and a fem energy so a masculine and a fem um and many many positive shocking series of term events is about to occur i think with this masculine and this fem energy or in both of these life be, these people's lives separately or together i don't know you take it how it resonates all right you guys we're done this was a freaking wonderful reading freaking fantastic you just so fantastic i like pulling in this kind of energy all right you guys well, we're done personal readings currently closed um how well personal readings closed i don't do personal readings just let you know i don't do personal readings if anybody comes at you and um says they're me wanting to offer you a personal reading it's not me so if that is the case please report them to youtube and let me know just for real for real i'm going to change it on my um write up i don't do personal readings and i and i don't plan on doing it so if anybody comes to you offering you a personal reading, it's not me. It's not, not, not me. I'm not going to come at you asking for personal readings. I'm not going to ask you for money. So just um, be in for real, okay? I'm not. All right. Um, but if you like to donate, it's PayPal. I don't, I don't do that Cash App. I don't do Venmo. I've had a lot of questions about that too. I don't want Cash App. I don't want Venmo. I've never had those. I don't want them. So just saying. Um, I'm going to keep it simple, stupid for me and keep it PayPal, okay? Um we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and, um, oh, and keep sharing, sharing, sharing the videos and spreading word of mouth. It really has been helping the channels just go, just saying. All right. Love you guys. Namaste.